Well, you're going to turn as well. You're going to turn towards your right foot. And the right foot is pointing straight forward. Your left heel is lifted. And then pick up your left leg. And there could be any amount. Any amount, really. Breathing here. There is a slight bend in that right knee. And let's pulse here. Slow. Making sure all four tires, all four corners of your right foot are really grounded evenly. There's a little lift in the arch of the foot. And then step that left foot down and slowly come up. So we're going to have that left foot slightly in the back. There's an asymmetrical stance. We're going to come up, pull the feet down into the ground. The pelvis is moving slightly forward, but we're not tucking the pelvis. The sits bones are back. Let's squeeze the shoulders, lift the heart, and look up toward the ceiling. Pull the feet down and back. You should be feeling legs, hamstrings, buttocks, belly. Find your breath. How much can you lift your chin and your heart and your breastbone, but keep the diaphragm back? It's not about bending back from your lumbar spine. It's lifting from your heart, from your breastbone, manubrium. And then let's slowly, let's actually release this. We do the other side. Left foot steps forward, coming into that asymmetrical forward bend squat hybrid. And then we're going to pick up the back leg. And we're going to pulse, little pulses. Keep lifting your kidneys as you're pulsing. So we're not arching the back as we're pulsing. This is a lot of times we're so mobile and so in a way programmed to move through the spine that this is a deliberate choice to not move through your spine. Small pulses, big pulses, they're yours. Make them yours. And then we're going to step that back foot down, asymmetrical stance, keeping that back heel lifted, slowly round it up. Pulling the feet down and back. Sits bones back, pelvis forward, lifting the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades, kidneys stay back, breathing. How much can you take that diaphragm back in space and turn on your buttocks and release? Let's take that right foot forward again. Bend the knees. Find your forward bend. Fingertips on the floor. We're going to pick up the back leg. And here we're going to try, and we've, we've done this one before. You can put your hands on something else, right? A higher position, a chair, the couch, blocks. And we're just going to see, can I lift without hyperextending my bottom leg, my right leg? Can I lift my left hip and my left leg up? And then let it drop. And we're going to pick up. We've done this with a chair a while back. So we're turning, we're rotating on the thigh bone, on the pelvis on the thigh bone. And then at the same time, we can rotate that leg on the pelvis as well. So it's a little bit of both, slightly differently done. And then see if we can now find a little lift off, keeping that back knee bent, woo, and come all the way up to standing. Keep that right knee slightly bent and come back. You can find your surface, floor, no floor, block whatever, and then come back up. And as you're coming up, pull that back, that down, that bottom foot back behind you, work the hamstrings, and then send your pelvis forward. So it's a double, in a way, double whammy. I'm going to take my left ankle and bring it towards my right shin bone. And I'm going to go one more time. So I'm doing a forward bend single leg balance challenge 10 minutes in <laughs> and come one more time up 
And you can do this, of course, you can be sloppy, whatever, no label. You can just come up and lose your balance here, which is just stepping out of the position. It's not even losing your balance. Okay, so let's do the other side. Right foot is back. Toes are down, heel is lifted. I'm gonna come into my forward bend and I'm going to come into my single leg balance, holding onto the couch, to a chair, to the floor, to blocks. And you're going to pick up the right hip, the right leg. Make sure your left knee is still slightly bent. That's not, so we, sometimes when we focus on something here, the knee goes, okay, I'm gonna just work less and then we go into the hyperextension. Keep your leg really working. And then maybe you're slowly coming off. And we're gonna come up. Can I keep my kidneys back? I'm not gonna lead with my heart. I'm leading from my pelvis. I'm squeezing my right ankle into my left shin. Sit splints stay back, kidneys stay back. Can we come back down into our forward bend, single leg, tri, uh, not triangle, one-legged, I don't know. I don't even know what they call this in yoga anymore. <laughs> Who cares? Single leg something coming up one more time we're rotating the pelvis on the thigh bone last one drop your head for a moment see if you can lift that right hip and right leg a little higher and then slowly coming up squeezing eventually that right ankle into the left leg and release Shake it out and then come to sitting. I'm breathing hard. Going from sea level to 7,700 feet. I can feel that today. All right, let's sit on.